I spoke to one of my co-workers about this topic and me and him, we're in a very similar situation. We're newly entering parenthood. His child is uh, eight months. My child is one year and nine months. But for some reason, as I spoke to those who are newly entering parenthood, especially I speak to their fathers about it, is we're all experiencing the same thing and we have the same complaint and there was many moments of arguments, unnecessary arguments, and many of the moments we wanted to walk away the family. And that's why last 10 or 15 videos that I made, I've mentioned, now I understand why men walk out the family when the child is a very young age, maybe two or one or less than one. And, uh, you know, when you marry the person or or stay in a de facto relationship. It's all good. Everything is great. You have a vision. Now you want to start a family. And things has changed. Uh, I won't speak for everyone, but from my experience, the people that I speak with, for the bad. It's actually a very bad deal. Um, and it can be personality depression. It can be... Um, it can be the hormones change, it can be brain change, it's a complete different person than we used to once we knew that person um, when we're in the relationship or marriage or whatever you guys call it, okay? And now to think about it, it is gone to the stage where it can be, we can say like our partner can be like emotional, we, they can fight little over little things they go crazy we get to see all sorts and one thing that we get to see the trend is the fact that um, I don't want to use the word lazy but unproductive in the household even though us guys is being the breadwinner um, and um, you know it's a huge major shift for for the woman's life you know entering motherhood and they had to drop their entire career, um, maybe pause, pause button, maybe the good, uh, good wording. Um, not used to staying at home and having the child, you know, and doing the same routine over and over again. Probably they're sick and tired or whatever. Um, whatever the reason it is, all right, I'm not going to argue with it. But to have that, and when you come back home as a man, you see the house is not clean or fold or clothes not being to wash or food is not being eating and she's not being eating properly probably instant noodles or x y and z um i understand if the child is within eight months right but the child gets a lot easier after eight months where they're a bit more independent doesn't really lingering every single second um to have that and when you have like that and you come back home and you guys fight with a on the dinner table or at night or perhaps in the um over the phone <clears throat> this is the way it could become and you have the person that you once know has gone um the needs and everything is changed of course and it's in you know what we wanted to change or get back online it's impossible and it is gone to the stage where um, you started to question yourself whether you want to walk away the family. And what I spoke with that co-worker, and he makes a sense to me now. Only speaking in a Western world, we can't speak on back in your country. Back in country is a different story. They have to obey because there's no sense in it. Once you divorce, you starve to death, basically. You know, um, unfortunately, there is government welfare, for even if they divorce, that they believe that they can have support, whatever the reason is, all right? So um, what he said is, it actually makes sense. The person that you know is gone. You try to change the person, even if you do, there's many fights ahead. You have to remember, there's three of us in this household. We're in a three different world, three different mentality. Even though you try to change your daughter or your son in this particular way, it does work in during the younger years, but not really when they hit 
adolescent or going or hit 18 or 21 or, or whatever, they'll never listen to you. And you should think the same way with your partner. There's no point changing. And even if you do, this divorce card gets stronger and stronger. And you just got to live by it. And you can't change it. Let them go through it. And if they go through the mistake, it is what it is. And there should be a sort of form of boundary. You put it in your world. That what is classified as, yeah, it is too much for me, that I need to walk away. And I'm pretty sure there will, there's going to be a lot of red, red line moment. Obviously, there's going to be argument that she can walk away. You can walk away. Um, because we live in the Western world, that she can earn the same as you. Um, X, Y, and Z. And when I think about it, it makes sense. It doesn't make sense to those who doesn't have kids or not entering parenthood. Um, things has changed. You know, with personality depression, um, the sex life has dropped immediately. I probably I'm lucky if I get once a, week, a month. Not like like when you're in the marriage or dating stage, you do it like maybe a couple of times a week or maybe every day or whatever. But it just it just it just drops down. Like she's probably not as um, body is very high libido or sex drive has gone down or X, Y, Z. Whatever the reason, I'm not going to say. You guys are more expert than me. All right? But when he mentioned about that, I started to realize, man, no wonder why us guys has to go through. Now I understand why I got divorced or walk away the family at a young age. Because it's very, very difficult. I know it's easy for me to, to discuss over the video. But it's very, very difficult. There was a amount of fights and you don't see any light, uh, vision out of this tunnel. Tunnel vision. Um, you know, and obviously the most obvious indicator is when they're on their period, you just shut your mouth. That's the only way you know, during that time. But after that, it's just you can talk a bit, but it never gets to them. And for me to know about this whole thing is just... I'm angry that my parents did not taught me. I'm angry that the society didn't taught me. This is why I'm angry. Because we watch films, we watch this and that. You marry to the prince and princess and happy ever after. You don't see the doom and gloom, um, the consequences. Like we understand we've got to buy a house, you've got to pay a mortgage and there's a never ending debt. We've got like responsibility, you've got to use common sense, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. I understand that, but it's a failure for our parents did not guide us. If we look back, if we live in hunter-gatherer society, the whole village look after my child or whatever, and the herd of the, the woman pack will guide my partner, my wife, the right direction or be a good member of the society and how you treat your husband. Same thing at the head of the man clan will guide me how to be a good husband or a good provider. And maybe one day I can go out or be outcast or whatever in this group. But obviously now is a different story. So yeah. Um, we have that. So that's very important to understand. And that's what I need to know. It's good. 